All right, so we have a wheel and they tell you what the moment of inertia is on some number in the correct units for moment of inertia, which are kilograms times meters squared. And it says it's subjected to a certain torque. So they tell you that number and it's also in the correct units, newton meters. So the wheel is initially moving with a certain angular velocity. So that's going to be omega naught. And they tell it to you in radians per second, which is the right units for angular velocity. And they want to know what will its angular velocity be later if the torque is applied for a certain number of seconds. So some number of seconds. So we have all of our quantities in the right units and we just have to figure out how we are going to use them. So we're looking for omega when we have omega naught nt. And I always go for the easy equation, the one with no squaring in it. Always hoping for an easy calculation. And I think about it. That's, that's the good equation. It has omega in it, which I need to calculate omega. We've got omega naught, which they told us. We have the time, which they told us. So we can use this equation as long as we can calculate alpha. Um, there aren't any of the kinematics equations that don't have alpha in it. So this is really going to be our best bet. So let's see if we can find another way to calculate alpha. So you start thinking, hmm, what other equations have alpha in it? Well, there's this one, torque equals I alpha. So we could calculate alpha from here if we know the torque and the moment of inertia. And look, they told us. So this is gonna work. I think first I'll go ahead and calculate alpha for, from the information they gave us. So from this, I can see that alpha is the torque divided by the moment of inertia. So I'm gonna plug those numbers in here and I have alpha. Then I'm gonna to go to this equation and say omega equals omega naught plus alpha t. And let's see. I'm going to take the omega naught from here and put that in there. I'm going to take the alpha I calculated from this and put it in there. And I'm going to use this time for that. Plug all of those things in and I calculate omega. 